On 24th August 2017, His Holiness Hazrat Mirza Masroor Ahmad, may Allah be his helper, inspected the arrangements regarding 42nd Jalsa Salana Germany in Karlsruhe. A large number of volunteers has been in Karlsruhe since past one week for the preparation of Jalsa Ka. His Holiness, may Allah be his helper, began the inspection with visiting the security section of Jalsa Ka. After a brief observation of security section, Hazur may Allah be his helper, moved towards the empty offices where Hazur may Allah be his helper took special interest in newly installed technical equipment and Jalsa Salana Radio Germany and gave specific instruction to the volunteers responsible. Afterwards, Hazur visited the food section and tent city installed at the Jalsa Ka. At food section, Hazur may Allah be his helper also cut a cake for the volunteers. Over the course of inspection, Hazur may Allah be his helper visited the sections of bookstore and humanity first, among many others. In his address to volunteers, His Holiness May Labi's helper highlighted the fact on availability of well-trained volunteers in all departments, but also stressed upon about the importance of cooperation between different section heads, and also instructed to improve cooperation and understanding in between them. For Wad Ahmad, MTN News, German Studios. In the small island nation of the Marshall Islands, Resources are scarce. Although the largest segment of the population is made up of children, there is in fact a great lack of necessary resources for children to advance in their education. It was for this reason that the Ahmadiyya Muslim Jamaat of Marshall Islands has launched a special program to help children get the supplies they need to go to school. This year, the Jamaat provided 25 children with brand new backpacks, composition books, rulers, sharpeners, scissors, pens and pencils. Hena South, MTA News. On August 17, 2017, Aisha Academy will be concluding its first ever summer learning adventure 2017. The Religious Institution for Women is in the midst of the last of their three simultaneous summer programs. Having successfully concluded their Aisha Academy Summer Camp 2017 for prospective students ages 17 and up, and the Girls Hivzul Quran Summer School, where potential students are selected. The summer learning adventure has seen girls ages 13 to 17 take part in a seven-week crash course of staple Aisha Academy classes, including Holy Quran, Ghulam, Islamic Sociology, Urdu, along with home economics. Students from the three camps have been able to enjoy field trips with the academy arranging a barbecue at Hadike Ahmed in Bradford, as well as a trip to E-Zone where the girls were able to play laser tag and various other games and sports. An institution for religious learning, Aisha Academy offers a three-year Mubashara degree along with a one-year certificate. Students are also able to study part-time and take credit courses. The Aisha Academy also houses one of the only girls' Hivsul Quran schools in North America. During Hazur's tour of Canada in 2016, Hazrat Amir al muminin may Allah be his helper, visited the academy and met both students from Aisha Academy and the girls' Hivsul Quran school. Hazrat Khalifa al Masih V, may Allah be his helper, has instructed that at least 25% of Lajna should attend Aisha Academy. Hibbat Mirza, NTA News. By the grace of Allah, Jamaat Ahmadiyya Ireland had the privilege of holding two peace symposiums in the month of March and April this year. These two symposiums were held in Ireland's two main cities, Dublin and Galway. The theme of these symposiums was global conflict and the need for justice. The Peace Symposium has become a permanent feature of the community's activities for over a decade now. These events draw people ranging from all walks and sectors of life, including the mayors of the cities, politicians, councillors, religious leaders, journalists, teachers, Garda representatives, and many others. An exhibition was set up at each symposium in which 
the charitable work of the community was showcased. Activities of the Jamaat were portrayed on exhibition boards and a documentary about Hazrat Khalifa al Masih V, may Allah be his helper's efforts regarding world peace, was continuously played on a big TV screen. Alongside this, many Jamaat books and various translations of the Holy Quran were also on display. These exhibitions were visited and liked by all the guests. The programs began with the recitation of the Holy Quran, followed by Irish and English translations. National President Ireland thanked all the guests for attending the symposium and explained that Jamaat Ahmadiyya is striving all over the world to establish peace and these peace symposiums are part of that effort. He explained that these symposiums have been held for the last 10 years and the aim of these events is to promote inter-religious harmony and the peaceful teachings of Islam. This was followed by a presentation highlighting the worldwide efforts of the community under the leadership of their beloved Khalifa, Hazrat Khalifa al-Masih V, may Allah be his helper in promoting its core values of love for all, hatred for none. Afterwards, all the respected guests were given the opportunity to express their views on the theme of the symposium. They spoke about the need for tolerance and tearing down walls of hostility. The keynote address was delivered by missionary in charge Ireland, Imam Ibrahim Noonan Sahib, who eradicated the false notion that Islam is a religion of extremists. He strongly condemned the heinous terrorist attacks that took place in London a few days earlier. He explained that terrorism and extremism have no place in Islam, and the people involved in these events have nothing to do with Islam, as Islam is a religion of peace. He said that to establish peace and justice in the world, it is important that everybody is treated equally according to Islamic teachings. At the end of the event, one minute silence was held in remembrance of those who lost their lives in the Westminster attack. The formal function ended with a silent prayer followed by dinner. All guests were given a gift bag containing two books, Pathway to Peace and Life of Muhammad, and a copy of Huzur's address at the recently held Peace Symposium in the UK. A total of 175 guests attended the event. May Allah Almighty accept our humble efforts and make us successful in achieving the goals of the symposium. Amin.